Since the launch of teachmate.ai, I've had loads of questions about how it works, what it's all about. So I thought I'd make a video which is a bit of a guide to the sign. Now, if you've attended any of my CPD over the past year, you will know that I have been upset intrigued by the potential of artificial intelligence. And I've shared lots of different tools like ChatGPT on my training, and I've shared loads of videos on my website that you can access by going to mrpict.com forward slash AI. What TeachMate has done is taken this AI technology, harness it and streamline it to try and help school staff with admin tasks so they can save loads of time. So what is AI, artificial intelligence? Well, I'll try and explain it to the best of my ability. Now, traditionally, computers cannot think for themselves. What computers do is they follow an algorithm that someone has coded. Whereas with AI, it's slightly different. AI works by being fed data. It can think by predicting results based on the data it's being fed. Now, the open AI models we're using on TeachMate have spent the best part of the last decade learning everything on the internet. Now, it cannot be 100% accurate, but what's exciting about this sort of technology is what you're getting now as a result will be the worst version of AI as it will just continue to improve based on the amount of data it's being fed. Now, what makes TeachMate slightly different to ChatGPT is through extensive testing, input refinement, modeling, and the fact that with the GPT API, you can feed it more specific edu data, means that you should be able to get a better output through the website. But I know that some teachers are already using ChatGPT brilliantly, getting some fantastic outputs, and if that's the case, keep going. But let's now jump in and have a look at TeachMate. So here we are at TeachMate AI, com or you can access the site by going to teachmate.ai. The home page looks like this, just a bit more information about how it works, why we've made this website. And in the top right hand corner is where you can create a login to sign up. So you can just put your email address in there and you can log in like so. And the first thing I want to talk about is the my account option on the left hand side. It's in here that you will be able to upgrade from the free account to a pro account where you can then access everything. There is a charge to this because every request you make to the AI model, there is a cost element involved, but we've tried to make it as competitively priced in that compared to other similar sites, it's cheaper, there are more, more tools available and there's not a limit on how many requests you make as long as you keep within our fair use policy which is basically don't share your password with every staff member in your school and let them make up team requests you, you're going to be fine what you can also do in my account is you can then delete and cancel your subscription at any point so even if you sign up you cancel it halfway through the month you will still get access for that whole month until your subscriptions over but if you do upgrade you can either do that monthly and like I say 6.99 a month two coffees or like I keep saying for the price of a Netflix subscription you can have your time back to actually watch Netflix or you can subscribe annually and you'll save yourself a little bit of money there by it being six pounds a month and that investment as I said before it's worth it I think because the technology is just going to improve and get better and better and better it's also worth pointing out that we have now off the back of your feedback added in whole school subscriptions as well so if you do want to sign up as a whole school where all your staff can get a login you can do that there on the left hand side i have now logged into my pro account and this is your dashboard so we'll come back to some of the tools in a second and the my content option just want to draw your attention to the bottom where if you see anything that isn't working you can report a bug or if you see the potential of an idea that we've not covered you can suggest one so we've already added a few new tools based on people's feedback. So if you think there's something that we've missed or you'd like a tool to be created, you can do that there and we will try our best to make it into a tool. So just to give you an example of what it sort of looks like, we're gonna jump into the free tools here. We tried to make a handful of tools free for anyone to use to sort of get a bit of an idea of the quality of output it creates. And if I jump into the math starter questions here, like I say, we try to make it as easy and streamlined as possible. That all the teacher needs to do is put their year group in. So year four, for example, tap generate. And if I scroll down to the bottom, it will now put an output in. So you'll see the little orange bar working its way across at the top. And that's just the AI generating the content based on what we've asked it to do. So we'll just let that work through. 
And here we go, we've got 20 starter questions that are linked to the maths curriculum in England, covering your number place value, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and so on. So we can then copy all of that by pressing the copy button at the bottom. We can select and paste the questions that we want to use, or we can press the save button there. Now by pressing that save button, that is gonna save all of that content to my content, the my content page on the website. As I say, it doesn't always pick things up perfectly, so if there's something that doesn't look right, it doesn't quite work, you can try generating again, but it's really, really important that it always comes with this caveat, as you'll see at the bottom of every output, that it won't always be perfect, and therefore you will need to just make slight adjustments and sort of polish it off to fit the needs of your pupils and your school. But if we now jump over to the My Content option, we can go into the free tools here, where we've got the math starter questions, and if I tap click to view, you will see now that everything I've generated is then saved there. So even if I don't get a chance to copy and paste it straight away, it will save everything to the website in your content option, which you can again copy or you can delete if you don't need it anymore. So you won't have to keep generating stuff all of the time. So as I say, there are over 40 tools available already in the teacher tools section. It's more of the sort of admin tasks for you as a teacher as far as planning uh, and, and sort of policy writers, risk assessment. And again, it's doing the heavy lifting. Teach Mate, it is your mate to help you with a lot of teaching admin tasks. We've got more coming very, very soon as well. And again, if you think there's something we've missed, we've not covered, suggest it and we'll try and build it up, build it in. The classroom tools are more around content generated that you can use in class with your children, such as the comprehension creators or the model text generators, knowledge organizers, whatever it might be. So yeah, you can access all of these tools when you go pro. You can just jump in, put your input in, and it will generate a matter of seconds. And like I say, if it's not what you want first time, you can try generating it again, copy, paste it, save it to your account. And like I say, hopefully this will save you a lot of time, help you, inspire you, support you, and hopefully give you time back so that you can focus on the most important aspect of your job, which is teaching.